friends, <clears throat> I'm Dr. Neha Taneja. Now, I uh, hope all of you are keeping positive, staying positive, staying motivated throughout this period of lockdown. It's very important period for all of us, for uh, family members, for the community, for everybody. So, uh, before we go into the topic for the day, I would just like to tell you that uh, please stay at home, be safe, help as many, help your parents, help your family members and uh, try to utilize this time, uh, you know, for uh, rebooting yourself and uh, yeah, being connected with your families. Please be safe, don't go out. Okay, we are going to deal with a very important topic, uh, often students ask me about it. It is about sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value of a screening test. Now, uh, definitely this comes in your university questions and also uh, MCQs aate hi aate hai, even to calculate. So, we try to understand what exactly is the meaning of these things. Okay, so first of all, these terms are used when we are referring to a screening test. So, before we try to understand these terms, just a quick revision. Screening kya hota hai? Screening is when you are looking for the disease uh, you know, among healthy population. In simple words, okay? Usko screening bolte hai. We'll be discussing in detail the difference between screening and diagnostic test in a separate video. But just for your knowledge, whatever is visible to us, whatever disease is visible to us is the tip of the iceberg. And the portion of the disease or the cases that are not visible to us is the submerged portion, okay? Or kisi bhi disease ko control karne ke liye, we have to find out, we have to know about this submerged portion of the iceberg. This is where the concept of screening test comes. These tests are applied on, you know, apparently healthy population to look for what is known as missing cases. Okay? Or the cases that are not known to us are submerged. This concept is basically of a great use for chronic diseases, for cancers, Take it. Just say diabetes, bully, hypertension, bully, any lifestyle related disorders. What we can see is simply the tip of the iceberg, those cases. There are a lot of other cases that is submerged portion that forms the submerged portion of the iceberg. Take it. So, this is why we organize camps organized karke logo ka RBS lete hai. If, you know, it comes raised, we advise them for FBS and PPBS to confirm to look for more diabetic cases. So, this is just an example to tell you what screening is. Uh, uh, and uh, different screening or diagnostic tests which we will be doing in another lecture. We just try to understand the most important terminologies which are associated with the screening test. They are sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value. Now, before we go to that, there is one term that you should know, validity of a screening test. Validity kya hota hai? I have put it down for you. It simply means to what extent the test measures what it purports or is supposed to measure. What is that extent to which my screening test is going to measure what it is supposed to measure. Okay? Just to measure karna hai, wo hi measure karega. Or in other words, it is the ability of a test. Okay, look at this line very carefully. The ability of a test to differentiate diseased cases and non-diseased cases. Okay, test me kitna ability hai to differentiate diseased cases and non-diseased cases. A test should be good then only when it is valid, when it is able to, you know, differentiate between those who are diseased from those who are not diseased. Agar hum koi test, screening test is submerged portion of iceberg mein laga bhi rahe hai to look for missing say hypertensive or diabetic cases, that screening test should have the potential to differentiate those who are diseased or have hypertension from those who are not having the disease or not having the hypertension should not get a false result. That is what is given by the validity of a screening test. And what measures, what determines the validity of a screening test are two most important terms, sensitivity and specificity. So let's try to understand that. Now to understand the concept of sensitivity and specificity, what we need to understand is that uh, it is understood by a 2 by 2 table. Okay. 
तो जब भी क्वेश्चन आएगा फॉर सेंसिटिविटी स्पेसिफिसिटी वी नीड टू मेक अ टू बाय टू टेबल एंड प्लीज रिमेम्बर इन अ टू बाय टू टेबल डिजीज इज ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन द टॉप एंड द रिजल्ट ऑफ द स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन द लेफ्ट इन द रोज ठीक है तो जब भी मैं ये टू बाई टू टेबल बनाऊंगी दट आई हैव मेड फॉर यू लुक एट द फोर ऑप्शन दैट वी कैन गेट This side is your screening test results, okay? And this side is your disease present or absent. या तो disease किसी में होगा या नहीं होगा And my test result would either be positive or negative. So what are the four scenarios that can arise? What I've put it down for you. Disease present screening test result also shows it present. So that is denoted by A or true positive. So what is A or true positive? It is population having the disease, and the screening test also shows as the population having the disease. So that is A. So they are true positive. Disease में population है भी और मेरा screening test भी वही दिखा रहा है. ठीक है? Next क्या हो सकता है? Look at this D. Okay, true negative. Very simple. That population does not have the disease. And my screening test result also shows it as negative. ठीक है सो पॉपुलेशन में डिजीज नहीं है डज नॉट हैव द डिजीज एंड स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट रिजल्ट आर ऑल्सो नेगेटिव ठीक है नाउ द सिचुएशन चेंजेस लुक एट दिस बी वॉट हैव आई रिटर्न आई रिटर्न फॉल्स पॉजिटिव वॉट इज दैट मीन बी फॉल्स पॉजिटिव मीन्स दैट पॉपुलेशन में डिजीज नहीं है बट माई स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट रिजल्ट शोज दैट डिजीज है All right. So population not having the disease, okay, but screening test results is showing it as positive. Okay. And lastly, what could be the scenario? Look at the C. It could be false negative, which means that population is having the disease. ठीक है बट स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट रिजल्ट इज नेगेटिव पॉपुलेशन में डिजीज है बट स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट रिजल्ट उसको नेगेटिव दिखा रहा है सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर जब भी ये क्वेश्चन आए तो वेन एवर वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेंसिटिविटी स्पेसिफिसिटी फॉर सनारियो कुछ अराइज डिजीज प्रेजेंट एबसेंट अकॉर्डिंगली माई रिजल्ट ऑफ अ स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट कुड बी पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव ऑलवेज मेक दिस ए बी सी डी एंड वॉट इज ए ट्रू पॉजिटिव डिजीज है स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट ऑल्सो शोज इट एज की डिजीज है पॉजिटिव डी इज ट्रू नेगेटिव पॉपुलेशन में डिजीज नहीं है एंड द स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट रिजल्ट आर ऑल्सो नेगेटिव बी इज फॉल्स पॉजिटिव पॉपुलेशन इज नॉट हैविंग द डिजीज बट माई स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट रिजल्ट इज शोइंग इट एज पॉजिटिव And C is false negative, which means that population is having the disease, but my screening test is showing it as not having the disease. So these are the four scenarios that could arise. Now let us see how a screening test would be evaluated. Before evaluation, one more thing from this, what do you conclude? That the total population that is having the disease is yes, A plus C. True positive plus false negative, and the total population not having the diseases B plus D, which is equal to false positive plus true negative. Now let us try to understand the uh, how the results of a screening test. कैसे कैसे हम दे सकते हैं the validation. Now when we interpret the results of a screening test, we or when we measure the validity, it is given by two most important components: sensitivity and specificity. so let's first try to understand what is sensitivity simple it is the ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease <clears throat> sensitivity of a screening test matlab kya hota hai ki all those who have the disease that uh, should be identified correctly by the uh, parameter sensitivity okay so that means it is the ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease so what will be the formula now all those who have the diseases a plus c we had just studied that those who have the diseases a plus c and who actually have the disease are the true positives a so what would be sensitivity it is nothing but a upon A plus C into hundred. Please remember to not to forget multiplying by hundred. This multiplication by hundred is very important. So what is it? True positives divided by true positives plus false negatives. Ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease. So it is A 
is all those who actually have the disease out of total disease does a plus c so it is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative into 100 this is very 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 important you definitely get a mcq from this a numerical now what does it mean if i say a thing um, some screening test has a sensitivity of 90 percent it means that a 90% sensitivity means that 90% of diseased people, okay, screened by the test will give a true positive result. Jitne manlo saw diseased the, usme se 90% ya 90 loka true positive result aega and remaining 10% will give a false negative result. Many a times your examiner asks you what do you mean by 90% or 80% sensitivity, okay? So it simply means a 90% sensitivity means that 90% of diseased people, jitne bhi diseased hai, 100% maan lo diseased hai, usme 90 logo ko screening test will give it a true positive result and the remaining 10% will get a false negative result. So here we have tried to do what is the definition of sensitivity, the formula and what exactly it means. Similarly, let's try to understand about specificity. Let's try to understand specificity. Just like sensitivity, specificity is the ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who do not have the disease. That means it has the ability to identify all the true negatives. So what would be its formula? See, all those who do not have the disease is D. Okay? Out of all those in, him, in whom disease is absent is B plus D. Therefore, your specificity would be nothing but D upon B plus D. Again, don't forget the multiplier into 100. Sensitivity specificity is always given in percentages. So into 100. So if I say 90% specificity, what does it mean? It simply means that... 90% non-diseased people, okay, out of 100 in, in 90 uh, non-diseased people, we will get the true result. And 10% of the non-diseased people would be wrongly classified as false positive, okay. So, this is the meaning of 90% specificity. It means that 90% of non-diseased people will give a true negative result. And 10% of the non-diseased people who will be screened by the test will be classified as wrongly as false positive. Okay? So just a comparison, sensitivity is the ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease. Okay, And specificity is the ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who do not have the disease. All those who have the disease is nothing but A upon A plus C into 100. All those who do not have the disease or specificity is nothing but D upon B plus D into 100. Jitno mein nahi hai, out of all jin mein nahi hai. 90% sensitivity matlab out of you know 90 diseased people if we apply the screening test 90 90% um, uh, diseased people who would be screened by the test it will come positive in 90% and 10% would be wrongly classified as false negative. Similarly 90% specificity means that 90% non-diseased people will give a true negative result and 10% of non-diseased people would be wrongly classified as having false positive. Okay? Now let us try to see what is positive predictive value and negative predictive value. In what other way the result of a screening test can be interpreted as positive predictive value and negative predictive value. Now, look, if you screening test in population, mein apply karoge, it will come positive in some. Now to find out that those in whom the screening test has actually come positive. Okay, just may screening test positive aya hai. On may actually disease hai ya nahi is given by positive predictive value. So what is it? Positive predictive value is nothing but ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease out of all those who tested positive on a screening test. Screening test apply ke mein jitne test hue the positive out of all those who actually have the disease is given by positive predictive value. Very important. So let's see from here. Who uh, actually have the disease out of all those who actually tested positive. Okay. So A hai just by disease present hai. Or test result kin mein positive aya tha? A plus B mein. Right. So what is positive predictive value? It is nothing but A upon A plus B into 100. Or true positives 
upon true positives plus false positives into 100. How are we going to interpret it? It means that person with a positive test result, okay, in my positive screening test result aya tha, in fact has the disease in question is what is given by positive predictor value. Although just my screening test positive aya tha, unme se kitno mein actually disease hai is given by positive predictor value. So that is A upon all those jin mein test positive aya, a plus B into 100 or true positives upon true positive plus false positive into 100. Very simple. To the last bit of it, what is negative predictive value? It is simply the ability of a screening test to identify correctly those who do not have the disease out of all those tested as negative. Jin mein jin mein screening test ne negative result diya hai, un mein actually kitno mein disease nahi hai is given by a negative predictive value. Okay, so all those who tested negative by a screening test out of those who do not actually have the disease is given by negative predictive value. So is mein kya hai? D. D is true negative. Or screening test the negative kin me kin me diya hai C plus D me. So it is D upon C plus D into 100 or true negative upon false negative plus true negative into 100. So it's ability of a test to <coughs> identify correctly all those who do not have the disease out of all those who tested negative by the screening test. Okay? So these are the four very important parameters, sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value. Okay, there is one more thing that you should understand is what is the accuracy of a screening test. Okay, what is validity of a screening test. So validity of a screening test is a screening test measures what it's supposed to measure given by two important parameters, sensitivity and specificity. Now there is one more term which is known as accuracy. How accurate my test is? Okay, so accuracy of a screening test is basically given by the formula for that is correct result upon whatever is my total result. Okay, so what is my correct result here? The correct result, any test should be able to identify the true positives and true negatives. So it is A plus D, okay, upon my total result. So my total result is, could be anything A plus B plus C plus D, okay. So this is what is known as accuracy of a screening test. Now today we've tried to talk about uh, the uh, measurements, the, the evaluation of a screening test. These are very important parameters. Um, numericals, um, next class may, we will try to make it an MCQ oriented class where we'll be discussing a lot of MCQs related to this topic and also trying to solve a few numericals which will help you understand this topic better. Koi bhi terminology ho, chai specificity ho, sensitivity ho, PPV ho, NPV ho, they will ask you how to, how do you define it, what is the formula, how do you interpret it, okay? And of course in numerical, so that numerical portion and certain um, uh, MCQs we'll be discussing in the next video. Please stay safe, be at home and um, it could be a stressful period, so just meditate, relax, don't feel pressurized, don't be stressed out and I'm, I'm sure this too shall pass. Take care, stay safe, stay at home.